It's a uh, it's a pretty deep history. I, I believe we've scored at the state meet in the four by eight 16 times in the last 16 years. I don't know. Celine's like tradition is just the four by eight. You know, we go into the state meet every every year just with the four by eight and ready to roll, ready to score points no matter what. It doesn't matter the pieces that that you have around you. Like that four by eight always seems to score at the state meet. So, and it's a it's a big it's a big uh, <clears throat> accomplishment over the years, just having guys uh, perform better than they will, better than they have, and you know they go out there and they they do what they need to do, and I, that's why I think that the four by eight does so well at the state meet for the past 20 years. You know, it's it's been going on for a while, and a lot of that has to do with Coach Spina. You know, he, he does a great job of coaching all those distance guys. There's a good chance that I might anchor, so obviously the goal is to win. Um, and I'm hoping for probably 156 low or sub 156. So just anything around that range. Don't want to be anywhere above that. Honestly, throughout this year, I've kind of been pretty OK with whatever spot I've been running in. It, it's a little bit more pressure, I guess. But honestly, I've just been more focused in on the race and not let the nerves get to me throughout that, so I'm fine with whatever, whatever position I'm put in. For the state meet, just leading up to it, we've had pretty like light workouts. It's just been a little bit of speed stuff, some quick work. We had 150s today. It was three by 150, two sets. And we're just keeping it light right now. We've already put in a good amount of distance, and I think we're already pretty fit, so we're not too worried about doing something crazy. I've exceeded uh, what I wanted to do. Definitely didn't expect to be on the A4 by 8 coming into this season, but I'm glad to be here. On your mark. I just think about you know my teammates and that I have to get the ton in a good position for them, and yeah, just thinking that I have to do well. Indoor actually um, is when I started realizing like uh, I might contend for a spot. Um, I got. Pulled up for a dual meet against Pioneer. That was the first time I ran on the A relay. And ever since, I've just been uh, consistently running some nice times and uh, keeping a spot on the A relay. Uh, state meet, just to win. I mean, like there's really nothing much else other than that for me. Um, yeah, um, just winning is, like, winning is very, very important, especially here. Just running whatever event needs to be run, um, whether it's the mile or the eight, the four by eight, or the four by four, just whatever we need to do to win. There's always like a certain shape and pattern that the 3200 mirror goes out in in the first lap, and he always tells me, always be close to lane one and two. You don't want to be pushed out to lane three and four because then you're just wasting energy. But you also don't want to be boxed in, so you want to be like on the outside of that big curve. So it's, it's a little bit of a tricky start, but then you get in the groove, and I, I know what I want to do. I've always done it consistently. It's a long race, so you kind of have to be mentally tough. You have to say, OK, I'm willing to put myself through this pain for about nine minutes. And it's not the easiest race. A lot of people are scared away from it just because of the distance, because it's boring, because just a lot of reasons. And I don't know, I, I always like the challenge. So I think it's a good race for me. So I don't mind it.
But here we come on the final stretch. Cameron Cooper anchoring Oak Park. Celine battling for second place. That's Anthony Cracker. Frazier in the mix here. Abdi Ahmed, 909.59, and David Mitter of Howell, 909.96. Yeah. 